This clear, transparent crystal is the Japanese material we're featuring this time. It's actually synthetically produced. Used for electronic devices, it's called a quartz crystal. The word quartz is often associated with watches. The world's first quartz watch went on sale in 1969. With a significantly higher degree of precision than mechanical watches, it quickly became widespread. Quartz watches are continuing to evolve. They're now equipped with GPS, barometric gauges, and sophisticated sensors. The latest watch has three in front. And one in back, a total of four quartz crystal components. Hello, nice to meet you. What role do quartz crystals play? We asked Koji Abe of Seiko Epson. What's the role of quartz crystals? Quartz crystals are components that generate reference signals for the movement of semiconductors. Electricity is generated when pressure is applied to the surface of quartz crystals. Conversely, when electricity is applied, it has the characteristic of changing shape and vibrating in a regular sequence. Those vibrations are converted into signals to process time and vast amounts of information accurately. What's more? They're also used in dash cams, which are attracting attention as a potential solution to traffic-related troubles. Take a look at this circuit board. Quartz crystal devices are used here and here. This dash cam uses two quartz crystal devices. They're extremely small components. What kind of role do they play? Quartz crystal devices are extremely important components used to control the CPU and to record time. From smartphones, digital cameras, TVs, and air conditioners to drones. They're also used in a range of products. Synthetic quartz crystals are indispensable for electrically controlled products. Given their importance, they've been referred to as the salt of industry. One factory making synthetic quartz crystals in large volumes is located in Hachinohe, Aomori Prefecture. We were given special permission to see the production area rarely shown to the public. There are crystals inside and we're going to bring them up. Here they are. These are... Synthetic crystals. Wow, so sparkly. There's steam coming out. They're really freshly made crystals. The extraction work is carried out once every few months. It's a moment that's rarely seen. They're coming up one after another. They say their ability to produce this large a volume at one time makes them one of the world's top companies in the field. There's quite a lot. About 200 in total. 200. It's like a crystal tower. Several hundred thousand electronic components can be made from one piece. So, how heavy is it? Wow, it's a lot heavier than I imagined. How many kilos is it? Eight kilograms. It's not only big, the purity is 99.9999%. This level of purity is not found in natural quartz crystal. 
How is this synthetic crystal made? There are two crucial factors. First, this is natural quartz crystal, the main ingredient. The main ingredient is natural quartz crystal. You'd think you could just use it as it is. With natural crystal, you have cracks like this and the yield is poor, so it's useless as a product. They say natural quartz crystal has numerous cracks. It appears white because there are cracks and impurities inside. And the other factor. What's this? It's seed quartz crystal, the kernel. Seed quartz crystal is synthetic quartz crystal thinly sliced to a thickness of just one millimeter. These two are put into a furnace. You can see steam coming out from the top. The temperature inside the furnace is about 350 degrees Celsius. Inside, the elements of the melted natural quartz crystal recrystallize on the seed quartz crystal. The thickness increases by half a millimeter every day. Inside the cauldron, which blocks out impurities, it slowly develops during the course of about half a year. Wow, a piece this thin becomes like this. It really grew. Demand for synthetic quartz crystal, the so-called salt of industry, is seen to grow in the future. For example, for autonomous driving, which is expected to arrive in the near future. For IoT, which connects various things and devices. And large capacity, ultra high speed data communications. They all require synthetic quartz crystal components. Our everyday lives and future are likely to be illuminated through the prism of synthetic quartz crystals.